Hey guys, Kurt here from Pray the Gospel. You know what? It's been a while since I posted a video about where to leave gospel tracts. It's December 11th as the time I'm making this video right here. And I have 37 items to choose from. Now some of them, like for instance, Bridge 1, Bridge 2, those go together. Um, but 37 things to pick from ultimately. It's not all going to go on this one video here, but it's been a while. Some of these are from like this summer, uh, some of them from the autumn, and just recently. But I'll try to get in as many as I can and then save the other ones for part 7. I think this is part 6. Um, so guys, if you have not um, subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please do that. It would really help me out to share these videos. Try and get to 100 subscribers so I can get a URL, which will definitely help a lot, especially when I write out church letters to people. Uh, to different churches to um, uh, help equip them in different ways to share the gospel. And my channel is all about showing simple ways to share the gospel. Leaving gospel tracts places is just one way. I mean, of course, there's one-on-one -on -one interaction, there's open-air preaching, um, there's obviously parades, all kinds of different ways. This is just one way, um, and I hope you're blessed by it. Share these videos, subscribe, and God bless. So we're at one of my favorite restaurants in Green Bay. It's called Crow's East, and it is fantastic. Everybody's almost done eating, but I'm eating all the kids' leftovers, and I still gotta finish my cheeseburger. Nice, greasy, dripping grease, butter. Mmm, it's, it's fantastic. But anyway, so there's menus over there. Gospel track. Menus. Gospel track. Making the connection. Menus. Gospel track. <laughs> She doesn't know what I'm doing. We're having a blast here tonight, but <clears throat> so yeah, um, put the gas on track in the menu for whenever uh, you're at a restaurant. So next time the person uses the menu, they're going to need a gas track. So whenever you're in a waiting room somewhere, uh, this is something that we did on the coloring thing right here, but uh, if you're in a waiting room somewhere, you got a stack of magazines, well, if someone wants to read Sports Illustrated, they're going to need a gospel track. So, yeah, just uh, whenever you're in a waiting room somewhere, there's another great place to leave some gospel tracks. So, if you're in a waiting room and you got some pamphlets of sorts, well, there's a place you can put a tract in as well. So, when somebody opens this up, they're going to get a gospel tract. What you can do when you have these toilet paper things here where they have the thing that pushes over here to grab another one. Um, what you can do is fold your gospel track and shove it in there. There's different versions of this. Uh, usually the ones I'm familiar with, they have the toilet paper where it, where it comes out like that, where it's on its side. Um, but another thing you can do is take your million dollar bill track and kind of wrap it up in there and roll it back up so as it pull it out, it'll fall out. Or you can just put it over here on the side, whatever. Um, it does all kinds of places, you know, even up on top, right there is an okay spot as well. Another great place to leave gospel tracks, one of my favorite places, you see right here the lottery area in the gas station, slip in the million dollar bill. But you can use several of them. Just like that, you know, people are after worldly riches. Well, if only they were after the riches that Christ can offer them. But uh, there is a great place right there to share the gospel, particularly with the million dollar bill gospel tracks. That works really well because of the money part of it. So, just another idea, guys. Hey, guys, we're at a place called Jen's Java. Got a bunch of coffee and uh, sandwich stuff items, things like that here. And across the street, my buddy is getting married, Jason Conan. He's one of our evangelism buddies. He's a pretty young guy. He's getting married today outside and to proclaim the gospel message, which is really awesome. At uh, Washington Park here. It's cold, but uh, thank you. Right there. Yeah, it's hot. Um, so, where do we have gospel tracks? Well, we have these games here where you can play, and they just pick one, whatever you want, and we pick Uno. Got a gospel track right here. It's the one dollar bill from Track Planet. I wrote down fullyfreefilms.com on there, seen by millions. When we are done playing this, I'm gonna slip it in there. So the next person who plays this game here, they're gonna get the gospel track. And they also have other board games and things like that. So I'm going to um, 
put either a nugget of truth in there or a gospel tract. So that's very awesome. So I just put a nugget of truth similar to this one in movie.com. Uh, and there's other ones, Fully Free Films and other film websites that I put on there. So I just put one in the Monopoly among the pieces there. And there's all kinds of other games you can do the same thing. So if you have something like that in your area, it's just another option for you. So we're looking at a house right now. Probably not going to get this house, but what you can do if you're looking at a house, got a gospel tract, slip it somewhere where they, someone will eventually find it. So I just put this somewhere way under there. Someone will get it eventually. We're looking at multiple homes, so I'll probably do that to a couple of different areas of different homes. If you guys are ever out for a walk in your neighborhood or on a bike ride like I am, if a house is for sale, like this house coming up right here, you know how they have those little info boxes? Well, you can leave a gospel tract in there for the next person. It's a great reminder to always have gospel tracts stuffed away in your wallet, they fit snug in there, or in your pocket. But we looked at the house a couple weeks ago. It's a no-go for us because it's a little too much, I think, for us. It's right across the street from our church, though. That would have been awesome. But it ain't gonna work out for us. But hey, again, you're out in the boat, got some gospel tracks on you. Make sure you always do have them. And you see an info box. By the way, I thought that house did have an info box on it. This morning after church, we drove by it. Thought I saw one, but I didn't. Um, I was gonna demonstrate, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. The info box, you can grab a piece of paper, details about the house, slip in the gospel tract next time you see that, okay? So since that last clip, I've been wanting to find an info box thing here in front of a house that's for sale, and I finally found one. Six months later, it's December 11th right now, and I was putting together this video. I just wanted to get the final clip, finally. That was actually uh, July 15th, I think, when I did that one. So you can put that right in there. And hey, if nobody else grabs it, um, then these people certainly will. The realtor will when they clean this box out after the house is sold. So guys, there's an option. Where do you guys think you're going? So we're at this very liberal church. It's just the meet for the family um, for Thanksgiving. We usually come here for different things, but they have this thing set up. Yeah, you, can, you know what that is. I'm going to put a gospel track in that box when no one's looking. I got one right here. But yeah, LGBTQXYWMPAR friendly, <laughs> whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait though because um, I don't want anybody to see me. Put it in there. Oh, you guys have enough candy. All right, let's go back. Back by the group. Gonna be taken off pretty quick. We're still here. That's the table. I'm almost tempted to like run in there and start putting gospel tracks and like the Bibles and stuff. Um, I mean, they probably never open them anyway, but you know, have it stick out a little bit. I don't know. We'll see if I can sneak off and do that. Not a gospel tract, but uh, as as I was eating dinner tonight, I found this little piece of cardboard on my pants. Not sure how it got there necessarily. Um, somebody brought some food for us because we just had a baby, and uh, I think it came from the box that was uh, where the food was in. But anyway, so I'm like, oh, I have an idea. So I just uh, simply wrote on there uh, the website, and I knew I was going shopping tonight. So I'm gonna put that. Hey, we'll just put it right here. You never know. I know it's not a gospel track, but I'm gonna sneak this in my video about gospel tracks. So we're at the movie theater right now, and another place where you can leave a track is when you're done watching a movie, leave it in the cup holder or in the seat. I mean, yeah, they do have crew coming in afterwards to pick up, but hey, then they'll get it um, if nobody else. And what I used is the Million Dollar Bill gospel track because uh, it looks like money, and I folded it up as such so, so that they would think, you know, oh, what's this, money? And they open it up and realize it's a gospel track, and they get the gospel message. So, yeah, if you're okay with that then uh go for it wherever you're at guys just use your um just, just use your imagination or just you know wherever you're at just think of where you can leave the gospel track so we're at the, the video store and i just came up with another place to leave the gospel track find probably a more recent movie that just came out where a lot of people are going to be digging for uh, movies 
So this one right here, Jurassic World. Put Gospel Tract right behind it. And someone will get that next time when they try to rent that particular movie. So you can come to a video store. I'm at a family video, but come to a family video or whatever video store you might have. And uh, just put multiple tracks behind uh, different videos as you're looking. So you can even go to the older movies as well. So just an idea.